We're doing some man stuff today. Stay tuned. Guys, welcome to the Mr. Bubbles channel where we dish out awesome pressure washing business advice to beginners. And in today's episode, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to install your ladder stabilizer on a ladder. So let's go ahead and jump in. You're going to need to order a couple of things on Amazon, but don't worry. In the description of this video, you're going to find these links, okay? So this, this is what the box that this comes in. It looks like this. It's called the Louisville, Louisville Ladder. It's basically, I call it a bullhorn. It looks like a bull's horn, you know? So uh, this is what actually comes in that box. And then the other thing is this right here. So besides this uh, aluminum bullhorn, there's these uh, bolts that come in there too. So I'm gonna show you guys on the second part of this, uh, of this video. So, and then the other thing that you're gonna need to order is this red guy here. And I already installed one off camera here so we could save a little bit of time. But don't worry guys, we're gonna do this one together so I can show you. But this right here guys is also in the link below, in the description below, the link you will find there. And it's this right here, it's called, um, it's called uh, the No Bull Bullhorn. You see that right there, guys? Again, in the description below, this is what it looks like. Guys, in my experience, this is by far the, the best of these type of things that I've ever used, okay? In, in the other video that we were doing the other day, we were talking about systems. You guys remember that? Well, guess what, guys? This is one of my systems. We have, we have uh, 13, 14 ladders here at the shop. Every single one of our ladders are, are set up this way, right? So th this is what I mean when I say system, you're doing something repeatedly the same way in order to achieve a certain type of result. And the result that we want here is safety, okay? So we're gonna install this one together. And then the other thing that you're gonna need besides these two is you're gonna need these two little bolts. Of course, I already put one in there. Of course, uh, where did the other guy go? We'll find it here in a second, guys. But uh, you're going to need uh, the, the bolts, these two bolts right here. So this bolt, um, I got it, where did I get this? Oh yeah, that's right. I got this at Tractor Supply, but of course you can get this at any place. You can even order it on Amazon. So anyway, the actual size is a quarter, by 20 by three inches uh, long, okay? So that way, you can see right here, oh, you can see right here that uh, it, it, it goes all the way to the other side. You see that right there? All the way to the other side. And then the, the, the other thing I'm gonna say about that is this, you wanna make sure when you install this, that the side that has a little bit left over is in the inside, it's not in the outside because it can rub up against your, against your, uh, against your arm or get snagged up on your uniform or whatever. And then the other thing I'm going to show you is this. This is very important. So this, this, uh, this uh, stabilizer, right? Louisville stabilizer. It comes with this rubber piece right here, super annoying, and you won't be able to fit your your bullhorn uh the thing over it so you need to get rid of this i'm going to show you how to how i get rid of it so again for this right here <clears throat> you're going to need a really 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 nice uh vice okay i've mentioned this before you guys uh you know like two or three times i think i've mentioned that you will not be able to run a pressure washing business without a vice it doesn't matter if it's in your garage your trailer uh the back of your truck whatever but you need to make sure you have a really good vice okay so here we are guys uh just getting my hand tool here all right we're ready to go this is what i'm using right here so this is a this is actually a pipe cutter okay like uh to cut what is it called those pvc pipes Okay, so, but I'm using it to cut this guy right here and I'm gonna cut it flush with the aluminum right here, okay? Give me a second here. Only takes a couple of seconds to do it. The thing's a little bit thick, but we're gonna get there. Make short work of it. You see that right there? 
in the in the past i've used um what is that thing like a grinder but it's not really necessary and this is a really really nifty and a cool tool to have because you end up using it for all kinds of purposes okay ah, we're halfway there we go Oh, almost there. There we go. Okay, there you go, guys. You guys saw that? Clean right there. You guys see that piece? I mean, super annoying. So now, let's go ahead and flip this guy over. Ah! Oh, oh, right there. You guys see that? We're going to flip this over so we can put our bullhorn, our red bullhorn, or no bull bullhorn, as it's called. Okay? So just like the other one here, you see it? So the part that we want to hit the roof is this. So I want to put that so it's, it's on the outside like that. All right. So and then you want to finagle it with your hand as much as you can. So it's nice and up like that. You see how I'm doing right there? You'll get to a point where you, you really can't do it with your hand because it gets stuck. Okay. That's about as far as I can go. And then the next tool that I'm going to use, guys... Um, Rubber mallet, okay? You need to make sure you have a rubber mallet. Guys, this is one of those tools that really you don't know you need it until you know you need it. You know what I'm saying? So you want to make sure you have one. I'm going to I'm going to beat this in a little bit. Oh, that's 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 snug in there, guys. There you go. That ain't going anywhere. That's as far down as it can possibly go. Now I'm going to flip this guy over again. Just like that. Okay, it's in there. <clears throat> Next, we got this drill bit right here, quarter for uh, quarter inch screws. You, of course, you guys seen this drill already. Guys, this drill is also in the description below. I mean, this drill, you guys just saw me in, the, in our trailer build series. Oh yeah, that reminds me. I wanted to get this announcement out of the way. We're only about four or five episodes away from our, our truck build series guys make sure make sure you 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 stay tuned you stay glued to the mr bubbles channel because you're not going to want to you're not going to want to miss that one we're, we're putting a ladder rack on there together you know all of the 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 hardware the reels and then i do things with my rigs that nobody else in the in the industry right now is doing so make sure you stay tuned in for that and remember it's going to be episode 110 to 120 but this guy right here, you definitely, again, this is one of those tools you will not be able to run a company successful pressure washing company without a trusty drill. So for this, you got to make sure that the bullhorn is, is down, facing down, because whenever you're drilling like this, you want to drill down because you want it to be even or else your bolt is going to be uh, bent and then it can break. OK, all right. A little tip there for you guys. So just like that. Uh, there you go just like that now for the next step here our little bolt uh it's right here but it, it fell underneath the the thing here so i'm going to show you this right here uh <clears throat> the bolt like i said i read you the it's a quarter inch bolt by three inches and then i got a couple just a couple of washers and i got one of these uh lug uh what's it called these um lock locking locking washers at the end there okay so this is how i'm going to do this remember the side that i want to that's going to be a little bit of access i want it to be on the inside so i'm going to push this through here just like so ah, okay man i love doing these uh these sort of shop episodes with you guys where we actually get to uh do some uh, some pretty cool stuff with tools and whatnot <laughs> Man, I got so many tools. Got tools for days, guys. I'm like a mechanic. All right, so you guys see that, right? Now, I am going to put my regular washer, and then I'm going to put my locking washer. I don't have such a hard time with that word, locking. Locking washer. Just like that. Now, I'm going to flip this over again, guys, because I want to uh, get it in there get it in there real good oh that's a good that's a good that's what she said that's what she said get it in there real good all right there you go uh for this we're gonna need a little uh phillips where's our jigamabob of course we got a 
little wrench here and that's all we're gonna do right there as far as I can with my my hand and this doesn't have to be you know super 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 tight um, but you know just snug enough so it's not gonna fall off and there you go there you have it guys so that's the finished product right there now remember the reason why we're doing it this way is so this thing doesn't fall off I I can't even I can't even begin to tell you guys how many times in my career I got to a job site and this was gone right so I got tired of, of, of playing that game and then finally I decided to do it this way like on all of my rigs uh, I think the oldest one that I have uh, one of these on is like six seven years old guys and it has not moved at all like this is not going absolutely nowhere highly recommend you guys do it this way and, and you know this about this channel guys if i'm bringing you something it's a hundred percent because it's been lab tested right so um i i, I want to bring you guys the good stuff so when you go out there you know exactly what you're doing and you're you're a true professional so for the next step, we're actually going to go out to my uh, workstation, my outside work table. We're going to put this on a ladder together, and then uh, we're going to wrap this up. I'll see you guys over there. Okay, guys, here we are, and I want to show you this. When you, lay, when you lay your ladder down to get this part done, you need to make sure that the side that normally faces the wall when the ladder is up so let's let's imagine you know you're on the side of the house the ladder is up this side here is the side that would be facing the wall so the side that's facing the wall you got to put it up you got to put it facing you on the table okay so the side that would be facing you is at the bottom here on the table and then we are simply on the top rung on the top rung of the ladder we're gonna we're gonna install this table this uh, ladder stabilizer okay now i got the, these uh, little u-bolts as they're called ah, okay we got them out here we'll do one at a time real good here and uh and then i'm going to show you guys um something here that i do that as far as i know nobody else in the industry does with their uh with their ladders okay so you want to put this like uh, what they call like a cross cut you see how i did that and this is the other thing that's very important you don't want to put this this way you don't want to put with the with this end down because then it's going to be towards you when you're climbing the ladder so it's going to get snagged up on your wrist or your clothes and it's going to tear your clothes and stuff so you want to make sure that you put this from the bottom towards the top you're going to put this little bracket here just like so and then simply uh screw your little bolts here it's pretty much that simple guys all right and, and by the way um i'm making this video uh because a bunch of you like about a dozen of you have have actually requested me do this video on how i do my uh my ladder stabilizers and uh you know i always tell you guys this right you guys are the the producers of the mr bubbles channel i just do what you guys want me to do i go out i go out there and i will make videos that you guys want me to make that's just the bottom line that's how that works oh, okay all right and like i said you wanted it as even as possible here okay ah, just like that mm. Okay, and, I'm, and I got this uh, hand tool here. Let me get this over here on this side here, guys. I got these little tools here. I'll show you what they're for. But I got this little, what is this thing called, man? Like an alligator? Yeah, this is an alligator clamp. That's just so I can, I can tighten it a little bit more, okay? Because I, I only have so much torque with my finger, right? So just like that. Now I have a little bit more leverage. I can use the hand tool. Just like that. I don't want to go too far because it'll bend the bracket. So I want to do about like a good three, maybe four turns with it. That's enough. Just like that. There you go. This one. Oh, let me do one more torque just in case. Safety, right? Okay, there. Ah, that's pretty tight. That hurt. That actually hurts my wrist. Tight. All right. And then one more. Ah, there you go. So there you go, guys. That one is 100% done. All right. Now let's do this next one here. Bracket. U-bolt and bracket. 
Man, like I was saying, you know, I love doing these, uh, love doing these shop episodes with you guys. Because, uh, man, I mean, there's just so much in this business that, oh, let me switch sides here, guys. There's, there's uh, so much in this business that you, it's hard to know, you know, like that, like that saying, you know, uh, uh, you know, you don't know what you know. You know what? Let me see this from your point of view real quick, guys. I'm going to be off the camera just for one second. Yeah. Okay. All right. So this side here is like half an inch more, uh, whatever. I mean, I'm not going to, I'm not going to do it just for that, but it's not that big of a deal, but here you go. Uh, just like that put our brackets in there but yeah i love doing this stuff and um you end up doing becoming like almost like a carpenter an electrician um uh, obviously like a mechanic i mean i got more tools than most mechanics well i mean you know what i mean not like a real mechanics but i got i got it <laughs> i got a lot of tools guys a lot of tools there you go okay that's pretty that's pretty good right there it's hard to judge it from the angle that i'm at but i saw there i mean it's uh like this is like almost elbow and this is a little right at the elbow so we're good okay ah that's as tight as i can get it and then i'm gonna show you here what, what i do with uh with uh how I'm gonna make this super, 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 super secure. Okay, now I need to tighten this side a little bit. All right, there you go. Ooh, tighten this alligator cramp a little bit. Yeah, it's one of those things, guys, as, as, as you progress on this journey, you're gonna see there's so many different tools that right now you don't even know that you need until you need it, right? One of those videos. There you go. This stuff is, is, is time consuming, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, you know, you, and you need to do it properly. Do everything properly. Oh, that's pretty good. And right. Right there. That's pretty good. All right. So we're going to move on here. So this is on real tight. Like, I mean, there is no budget in this guy. But... You know, when it comes to ladders, guys, I, I can't even stress safety enough, right? And if you guys have noticed in some of my video, I have some black tape right here. A couple of you guys have asked me what it is, and it's actually this right here. If you don't know what this is, it's called Gorilla Tape. Gorilla Tape is like basically uh, duct tape on crack. Like it is super powerful, a lot more powerful than duct tape. And so what I do is I do a couple, a couple turns here with, the, with this, uh, with this uh, Gorilla Tape. And, and again, it's because the reason why I do this is because we're dealing with just like that. And I go, doesn't, you don't have to go, you know, super crazy overboard with it. But I go like five, I'm not five, six. I go like eight or nine turns like that. And, and the reason why I do this, I was saying, guys, is that, uh, you know, it's, it's safety, right? Like you can't go, you can't go overboard with your, with your safety. Like, you, like you're not going to risk yourself, you know, because of a, a four, you know, four hundred, five hundred dollar whatever you know what i mean so make sure that you know you guys are out there practicing good lad ladder safety there you have it and then um, as the sun hits this when you're out working it i mean the thing basically becomes like essentially like cement this is this makes it super super safe and you don't have to worry at all about this thing coming undone. Like I said, guys, I have the same system in all of my ladders. And some of them are in their six, seven, eight season. And, you know, not one thing wrong with them. So let's take this guy over to, uh, to test it out. And I'll see you guys over there. Well, there you have it, guys. You see how incredibly sturdy this is. It's uh, definitely a very professional setup that will last you a few years i mean like i said one of our trucks here at the shop has has this uh seven years now this has not come off the bullhorn has not come off it's got the same original boat in there and everything so 
super professional setup. And the other thing is, if you guys remember when I told you about the bolts, how to put them face down, you know, just follow my instructions exactly, guys, because you see here how the bolt, no, you can't see really good on camera there, but the bolt here is out of my way. If I had put it the other way, this bolt would be facing here and it would snag up on my clothes. And I've actually done that before and I ended up cutting myself on my wrist. So make sure you guys set it up exactly this way. And you see the tape here, guys, like, uh, I mean, wow, like, when you guys do this process yourself, you're going to see how incredibly resilient this tape is. I am super confident when I'm on a ladder and really this tape right here more than anything is what gives me that confidence. But there you have it. I really, really, really appreciate you guys coming to my channel and watching this how to install a ladder stabilizer on a ladder video. Highly recommend you guys watch the next one as well. Guys, in the next episode, uh, I'm actually going to be taking you guys into the field and we're going to be doing a, um, a vinyl fence together. And what's awesome is I'm actually going to soft wash that with a jug, like a little uh, two gallon pump sprayer. So make sure you tune in for that for that episode. And uh, also make sure you email me. A lot of you guys are goofing up on your pricing and uh, I have a two page PDF to share with you. It's our pricing guidelines slash blueprint for 2024. What I recommend you guys do is print this thing out, laminate it, keep it in your truck as a reference, like a jumping off point. And I would under no circumstances you know, um, charge less, a lot less than what's in that, what's on that blueprint. Now, you know, if you got to give a small discount, 10 bucks, 15 bucks, 20 bucks, that's okay. But like, if, if it tells you on there that you're charged, you're supposed to charge whatever, $300 for a job and you're charging 200, then you're goofing up. So, uh, you know, make sure you email me. Like I said, I absolutely email everyone back so you can find my email in the description below but yeah thanks for watching and i'll catch you guys on the next one bubbles out